Excellent. Put it down in the middle. It's all kinds of uh, uh, documentation in regards to what's occurring with our honeybee population and the fact that it's in uh, distress to the point where in the next 10 years uh, they may be actually extinct. And bees are a huge part of our ecosystem and that when the bees go, we're not very far behind. Having bees or taking care of honey bees is an integral part of actually sustaining um, a good society and keeping people alive, quite frankly. So understanding that and understanding the relationship that we have with the honey bee population, we decided maybe it was time to act ourselves. It's like playing Where's Waldo. You know, I want to give a shout out to the, the good folks who actually partnered with us in this. It was a learning experience. I had, I had a lot of fun. It actually brought me back to the days of when I was on, on the farm. So a shout out to Jason and his daughter Lily and uh, the bee company. And when they actually started looking into our building, they did a, uh, basically a snapshot where they can actually see all the green and, you know, uh, area that uh, the bees would actually be able to thrive. What we're hoping to do is actually have Opsu honey. Uh, so that, uh, you know, depending on the amount, we have 10 hives, it should, it should actually create a substantial amount of honey. Uh, so a portion of the honey will go to the beekeeping company, another portion will go here, and we'll decide how that's distributed. It'll either be, uh, depending on the amount, it'll either be uh, given uh, out of the, uh, the cafeteria here, or it'll be sold down there. Honey actually leaking out of the cone up here. Part of uh, what we do as a union isn't just about, uh, you know, representing, you know, our members. Uh, obviously, it's a big part, representing our members, getting, uh, you know, great collective agreements, organizing the unorganized. These are all really important. We're, all, we're also a social justice union. We take on lots of things in regards to, you know, as a not-for-profit that uh, they impact us in regards to our society. Uh, and, you know, honeybees are part of that. You know, they, we can't unionize them, uh, quite frankly, and uh, you know, and there's uh, no dues that come from them, but there is a, obviously a spin-off effect from taking care of bees, and uh, this is the start for us. We're hoping it's successful, and if it is successful, the other buildings that we have, Opsu owns, we hope to spill that out into those buildings in the area first. Um, ideally, what we, uh, we want is people to educate themselves, as a union, that's one of the things we try to do. Um, and if you have property or you are able to maybe look into becoming a beekeeper and uh, maybe having your own hives, I think that would be great. And uh, we encourage people to do what they can to not only uh, save the bees, but uh, you know, helping hand in saving uh, uh, us as a people.